Hello again, traders, and welcome back to the Hot Stocks Outlook for January 29th, 2021. Hope you're all having an excellent week in the financial markets, and uh, as always, a lot to cover in this week's outlook, which has really been one of the most exciting weeks in the financial markets. We have a lot of very strong, compelling narratives happening in different areas of the market. It's opening up tremendous trading opportunities. So we're gonna start here. We've got uh, BJ Wholesale. Uh, we've also got BG Foods and Campbell Soup, a lot going on in sort of the area of food. We've also got Dick Sporting Goods, William Sonoma, so some retail, and a couple of entertainment stocks here with Las Vegas Sands, uh, and also Walt, uh, Walt Disney here. So. Starting out here with BJ Wholesale, and this is a really great example of how this technology works and can really direct you to the appropriate places in the market to make a lot of money. Now, uh, right up against, the, these are daily bars. So each one of these candles represents a full and complete trading day. And you'll notice that there's a black line and also a blue line right up against that price data. Now, the black line that you see there, that is a simple moving average, very common technical indicator but it acts really as a measure of where market prices have been because it's always looking in the past and really gets plotted by that most recent close price. So we use it as a measure of where things have been, uh, but what we wanna compare that value to or that black line is the value of this blue line. And so for that number to be calculated each and every trading day, Vantage Point is performing what's called intermarket analysis and utilizing the technology of artificial neural networks to do that. So what does that mean? Well, that means that the software has uh, figured out what markets are known to drive and influence this target market. And so what it's able to do is it's looking at ETF groups, it's looking at individual stocks, it's looking at things like the S&P 500, global currencies, global interest rates, futures markets, commodities, and looking at those relationships and actually utilizing that information to generate future price predictions. So some things can have positive relationships or correlations, some can have inverse correlations, there can be leading and lagging relationships, and that's where the technology comes in and is able to analyze that data appropriately. And so what it's able to do is actually generate future price predictions, so things that have not yet occurred, and use that information to actually build into the value of this blue line. So turning what was a lagging average that just gets dragged around by the past into a forward-looking predictive tool. Now, to continue on here though, is you look at the bottom of the chart, we have this green and red bar. And this gets updated after each and every trading day. And this is also derived via that neural network process, but you have to train artificial intelligence. You have to train it what to do, right? What sort of time scale is it looking at? What problem is it trying to solve? Well, in the case of the neural index, this is a very short-term forecast of strength or weakness over the next 48 hours, or you can think of it just as a couple of trading days. And lastly, you have another set of these uh, neural networks really driven to find what is the next day's predicted high and predicted low. So sort of separate technologies there pointing out each one of those values so that you have good intraday levels to go ahead and place limit orders, profit targets, uh, really however your trading style works is gonna help you really pinpoint those entries. Uh, but again, once you recognize those shift changes as far as the overall trend direction that average prices are expected to move higher, well, you wanna look towards those predicted lows. And we can actually see how accurate all of those predictions are against the then actual price data. So what happens is this is the prediction you see moving forward, and that will fill in with an actual candle. And that's what you're looking at back here. So you can understand that, okay, well, you've got these predicted ranges so that you know, hey, look, let me try to buy at the lower part of the range, uh, ideally close towards this predicted low, and get involved with the market. You'll also notice that the neural index here forecasting, look, there's some short-term weakness. Things aren't in an uptrend, right? Expect some lower lows, expect to trade near those predicted lows. But the overall trend is up, that blue line still above the black line, and that highlights that this is a good opportunity to stay long, uh, make sure that when you get into a market, you don't get out of it too early before all the profits come through. So here we have a 27% rally in the past uh, 14 trading days, I believe. Uh, 500 shares there has you up about $5,300. Now, uh, this is really exciting. We've seen a lot of the food companies do extremely well. And what you tend to notice here with Vantage Point is all of these forecasts coming through in similar stocks at the same time. And that's where it makes it very clear to understand which stocks are doing well, which stocks are doing poorly, uh, where should I focus my attention in the marketplace? So here we have BG Foods, you see this crossover to the upside, uh, that neural index just as bullish as it can get over this entire time period. And of course you can use those predicted highs and lows to say, okay, well, where do I wanna get involved? Well, certainly at those predicted lows. And then once things really start breaking out, you 
better have gotten a position ahead of time because once these things really start moving, uh, you know, it's not easy to jump onto something after, especially you got these gaps on the chart, but that's where there's a lot of profit potential is when that market is really accelerating to the upside, gapping up. Uh, here's a 50% rally in eight trading days. Uh, again, just 500 shares there, have you up about $6,700. Uh, here we have Campbell Soup. So again, to that narrative of food companies, we also saw General Mills, a lot of this stuff, same narrative here, blue line crossing to the black line. Uh, and what we can do is actually run an IntelliScan and, and that's gonna actually find these fresh crossovers and you can sort all that by market type or, or sector, right? So you can look at, let's look at all the basic material stocks together. Let's look at all the energy stocks and really be able to build that compelling case for your trading plan going into the week. Uh, but also again, have that daily plan of understanding, look, if I'm gonna buy today, where do I wanna get in? Uh, and this is really critical to have these levels because when you set limit orders, you see that the market often does not spend much time down here. There's not a lot of volume filled there uh, and you need to have your orders ready to go before the market opens so that you can make sure you get a really nice fill. Uh, don't have to run a huge stop loss, but still benefit as the market accelerates to the upside here. So you've seen three days, pretty much this entire move about 15%, 500 shares there has you have about $3,300. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods, a market we looked at uh, a couple weeks ago here, uh, but just like to update these things to really highlight that, look, you can recognize a trade is starting, but the big thing is not whether you get in back here, it's how you manage it over the course of the trade. That's gonna determine if you're pulling out a lot of money out of that move. Uh, and so once again, we can see these areas where the neural index gets a bearish and you get a little bit of sideways and weakness there. I always like to look at this as an opportunity that says, look, expect average prices to move below this very accurate uh, predicted moving average, right? If that's an accurate forward looking uh, measure of average prices in the future, well, well, we can always trade above and below an average. So expect over that 48 hours that we get some of those moves below the average. Uh, and of course you then can pinpoint your entry price with the help of those intraday uh, predicted high and low levels delivered from that neural network technology. And you see here on those dips, really nice entries where the market's dipping down, quickly moving higher uh, and accelerating to the upside here. We've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight. So imagine the situation where you're starting your position back here early when that trend begins, but then able to add to that position along the way, especially with profits you've made over many of these moves can allow you to build a larger position uh, and make even more money than the, you know, sort of static way of looking at this where it's like, okay, well, you know, if you had, uh, you know, 500 shares back here, you're up about 26% over the last 23 trading days, excellent move, you know, over about $7,000 profit, but you may be able to buy a thousand shares up here with some of those profits as that trend uh, looks to continue. Uh, here's William Sonoma crossover to the upside here very clearly. Uh, you know, neural index pretty much bullish. You have one day here where you come out of it, but this indicator overall, over all the markets that you trade, uh, you know, accurate essentially four to five times up to about 87, 88% accurate. And then you combine that with these other tools to really pinpoint entry price and all these things. Uh, and it's gonna make a huge difference as far as executing that trading strategy uh, as efficiently as possible. So again, here we can see these uh, predicted lows coming through. You see often in the early part of this move, What's happening here is the, the predicted moving averages are allowing you to recognize a trend reversal earlier and recognize, okay, here's the opportunity to get involved. And when you're early, that can allow you to get an entry in when prices are just sort of meandering around, right? Where, where the market really hasn't realized, oh, there's a real opportunity here and shares are drastically moving higher. Um, and that often, again, allows you to get that early entry position. You see these two days, uh, you know, even after this trading day here, predicted highs and lows sliding lower saying, hey, expect things down here. Uh, uh, and then things really rapidly accelerating to the upside. But the great thing again about this technology is that it's adaptive. So when the market's closing here and volatility is picking up, it understands, hey, let's take that into account. Let's update these predicted ranges uh, by looking again at those intermarket relationships to help really pinpoint uh, those levels in the marketplace. So here we have a, again, a very nice move to the upside, 36% rally in the last 13 trading days. Again, 500 shares there has about $20,000 to the upside. It's the same with options. You know, whether you wanna know, you know, where should I start buying those calls or put contracts? Um, and, and you can, of course, manage that with, you know, actual shares as well. Uh, here's uh, Las Vegas Sands. So just wanted to highlight, you know, some of these things not doing well. And we've, we've highlighted things like FedEx and 
some areas that you absolutely want to avoid. But when you've got these things really working well, but you also understand where you might want to set up some hedges and, and areas to actually short the marketplace, um, that's going to be a very powerful tool for regardless of what occurs in the market. If we get a lot of volatility in the S&P 500, you're going to have something that's really, really working for you. Uh, but here in Las Vegas Sands, we see we have this crossover to the downside. Uh, and very clearly, uh, you saw that with like Wynn Resorts. A, a lot of these hotel stocks, you see that, hey, there's a problem going on here. It's almost the opposite of the food stocks where you see a lot of really good opportunities opening up. Um, this really highlighting that, hey, there's some dangers in the market. Uh, if you want to trade here at all, make sure you're short taking profit if you've been long in the market. Uh, but very clearly there, uh, that market not doing well over the past uh, few weeks here. And we can see this market overall uh, down about 14% in the last 12 trading days. Uh, lastly, Disney here, this was a company doing extremely well, uh, but this is the benefit of the software is understanding that, okay, well, here's the time where you want to come in and buy Disney. There's where you get that opportunity for trend reversal, but you want to understand very clearly when to cut out that behavior, right? So if you're in a buying campaign over this price period, well, then make sure you use those predicted highs and lows. And where are you going to be buying? Well, you're going to be buying down at these predicted lows only long because that blue line is pretty solidly above the uh, black line over this entire duration here. You get a little bit of a uh, gap up out of the area here, but you see those predicted levels doing a good job. A little gap down here, immediately trading to the upside. Uh, and then here you see things start to shift. So uh, we run a little sideways here. Let's see exactly where that crossover to the downside is. We see right here making it very, very clear that uh, you know you got that neural index a uh, little bearish over this time period. So expect a little bit of weakness. But once you get here, very clear, look, Take profit on those longs if you got any of them left uh, and look to go ahead and short the market again from these predicted high levels uh, are going to guide you over that time period. So it's not about, again, just taking that position, but every day walking forward with it and, and really making the most of it, right? Adapting with what uh, is currently going on in the markets and, and taking in that new information via that neural network approach uh, and adapting to it so that you understand which markets you should really hold on to and focus in on uh, and things you just need to avoid and, and uh, maybe even get out of the way if you'd been long over a really nice period like this in Walt Disney. So we see here uh, shares here up over the longer haul here. Uh, up about 41% and very quickly uh, losing about 8% there uh, and then things accelerating there to the downside. So a uh, little longer today. I know I had a lot of markets I wanted to highlight, but it's been just a extremely interesting, exciting period uh, in the marketplace. And uh, especially when you have a tool like Vantage Point, uh, it makes it really easy to hone in on some of these important areas of the market, build that narrative for where you should be focusing and trading in the market. And then you know, let it rip, right? So uh, once again, this has been our Hot Stocks Outlook for January 29th, 2021. Thank you all for watching. Best of luck and bye for now.